Hi everyone, so I've decided to go ahead and get started doing Soulmate and Twin Flame readings in addition to my monthly uh, Zodiac readings that I do. I'm not sure how often I'll be doing these, just going to kind of play it by ear and see where my guides lead me. You might be on my channel and resonating with the zodiac readings that I do with your specific zodiac sign because I keep telling the same, you know, it's, just, it's the same story and same group that I continuously channel that I've been channeling over the months since I've been on here. So you might resonate with the zodiac readings, but not resonate with this one. I'm not sure what group particularly I'm going to be channeling with this reading. So again, just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not resonating for you, then it means it's you know, you're not in, you're not in part of this group that I'm channeling. Um, it's not your message or story. So just go ahead and stick with the, um, the Zodiac readings that I've been doing for you guys. So let's see, let's see if this is your story or not. Okay. So what is going on? So I'm putting the intention into channeling like, like potential life partners, you know, soulmates, twin flames, not really channeling, um, if you're in a karmic situation, then this probably is not going to resonate with you because I'm not really channeling karmic partners. I'm looking at more like long-term soul-based partnerships. I do do the third-party readings pretty regularly on here as well. So if your person is in a third-party situation and you want to know what's going on, just, just check in for those as well. But okay, anyway, so for those that are drawn to this video, soulmates and twin flames, what do you need to know about your connection right now? What do you need to know about your connection right now? What's going on with your connection? What is the story here? What do you need to know about what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting? Just let's play the cards out and see what we get. Pride and stubbornness, reconciliation. manipulation, deception, publicity, social media. I'm not getting a bad energy from this one though. I think it's tied to this. I think that I think your person is noticing someone's doing some Facebook or Instagram or some kind of social media stalking is what I'm getting from this. And the pride and stubbornness, I think, you know, reconciliation is coming right after that. So I think maybe there's been a period of silence or there's just been a period where someone was afraid of getting hurt or they were just prideful or stubborn not willing to open their heart and then we have reconciliation coming in here and it's tied to this social media i think someone's choosing their words wisely and planning their approach we've got beauty mystery and enchantment There's a lot of energy for twin flame and soulmate and life partner soulmate reunion right now. The energy is really good for that right now. I've noticed a lot of of um, just unions happening right now. A lot of spiritual energy, spiritual awakenings, vivid dreams, um, tower moments, just people going through all these life changes all at once. Lots of just old energy being flooded out and new energy just coming in. You know, your exes might come back around too just so you can get closure with them and end that cycle and end any karmic patterns that you've been stuck in so that you can manifest union with your twin flame or with a soulmate who's a life partner. So keep that in mind. We have had a lot of life changes and lots of crazy energy this year, but it's all orchestrated by the divine, by our higher selves. It's all for the best. It's all bringing in this new change that we've been praying for. You know, it's like when you pray for love or you pray for something good to happen, it's like you have to realize that you might have this flood pour in to, to remove all the blocks, remove all the things that are no longer serving you. You know, like you're praying for a new job, you might, and you, you know, you might get fired from a toxic job you um, praying for a new living situation, like you might be put in a situation where you're just, you're pushed to find a new roommate or, you know, you're praying for new love and then you you break up with the karmic partner you were with or or you have these exes come back around so you can't get closure with them. It's like your, your prayers are being answered. Maybe not quite as smoothly as you had hoped for, but, you know, all that old energy is being pushed out so this new energy that you're praying for can come in. And we have listening and understanding. So you're coming into this new perspective, this higher perspective, more in alignment with your higher self, 
true love and abundance now flows to you naturally and effortlessly as a result of your open-mindedness, your faith, and your bravery. We've got sex, seduction, and make your move. Green light. Ooh, it's good energy. Really is good energy. I think that you're opening your heart up more to this person and I think they're realizing it. If you're not in contact but they're like stalking you on social media or they're on your social media, I feel like there's possible, you're coming out of this phase where you guys have just been, like there's just been no contact or there's been silence or somebody's been holding on to their pride too much and you're coming into reconciliation. I feel like the manipulation and deception card here is actually see it's kind of like i mean I, I always read these cards intuitively based on the energy i get from the whole spread and i almost see it as like a seductive type energy like she's whispering see she's like whispering her in her ear she's you know these little like secrets and stuff basically coming out and i feel like it's tied to publicity to social media so i feel like maybe your person's posting on social media and you're commenting on their post or you're saying something and it's getting their attention because i just get this energy of somebody that was like kind of guarded and scared and they're opening up as a result of something that's going on on social media so this could also be carefully planned social media posts it's like this seductive type energy it's like maybe you're posting memes or you're posting pictures of you going out and you're trying to make them jealous, like you're posting selfies and stuff, like, oh, I'm living my life out with my friends and it's getting their attention, or maybe you're posting memes, or maybe you're just posting about how you feel. There's just something about what you're posting right now that's kind of starting to wake them up a little bit. There's something, or it could, it might not even necessarily be a post, it could be communication on social media, like you commenting on their posts, them commenting on yours, but there's something going on with social media that they're really taking notice of your social media right now and that's that energy is about to lead to some reconciliation to some contact maybe you're posting i mean you know what you're posting it's going to be different for everybody for some of you it's like you're posting selfies like oh i'm moving on i'm doing my own thing i'm good and it's going to scare them and they're going to get jealous and they're going to want to come in and pull you back in for others i think you're being more vulnerable and open like kind of opening your heart and showing like a sweet soft side of yourself on social media and that's getting their attention there's something here though where this this clears up the pride and stubbornness it it transitions you guys out of that energy into the reconciliation energy and helps them open their heart more so whatever they're doing it's like they suddenly have a fear of losing you or suddenly they're opening their heart more could be messages exchanged between you on social media as well um they are planning their approach so, you know, that would make sense, too, if you're posting that you're living your life. Maybe they're like, oh, shit, what if I've already lost my chance? Uh, so they're, they're trying to choose their words wisely, you know, find a good balance between not coming on too strong but not being aloof either and, and showing you that they do, they do find you enchanting and, and beautiful and mysterious and unique. And then we have... Um, yeah, this new perspective that you guys are coming into. I think your person is going to come into this new perspective as well and kind of start appreciating you a little bit more. Yeah, we have sex seduction. So I think it, again, kind of ties into that, that those planned out posts or those maybe not even planned out, but just you're posting about what you feel or you're posting something, drawing them in, and it's kind of seductive to them. It's kind of putting you guys in this sexual energy. And you see this is even like a seductive card. If you look at her positioning, like how open she is, like that's kind of how your person is seeing starting to see you and you could be male or female don't get caught up on gender i know i have male viewers so it could be a male male relationship female female male female whatever it is you know just picture this as like a, a strong viking man if this is you know if, if if you're um watching for a female viewer you know it's just whoever the person is it's like someone's just seeing you as seductive and and charming and beautiful and realizing that they better step it up before they lose you they're realizing that they don't want to risk losing this chance with you they're realizing that they need to make a move that they've got the green light 
they need to go ahead and go for it and say something before it's too late so and yeah you're just in this seductive energy where it's just you're drawing them in you might be doing like love drawing rituals right now or you might be just putting like vision boards or affirmations just putting the intention out to the universe like kind of trying to stand in your power basically trying not to chase them anymore and you're you, i think you've chased them in the past and now you're getting to this point where you're kind of just in this seductive high priestess or emperor type energy where you're just standing in your power standing on your own and just be like drawing them in and letting them you know trying to get them to work for it trying to get them to come to you just kind of like opening yourself up like saying like here I am you know like I'm seductive I'm open to you I want you you got to make your move and there might be like some sex magic going on or like like you're you guys are doing that at the same time even if you're not in the same room or not in contact you're you're still there's some sexual energy in the with this group for sure um yeah that's where we're at I'll, I'll try to do these readings more and more regularly uh if this is your story then please go ahead and subscribe to me and we'll see where this takes us so thanks for watching and if you'd like me to if you'd like to book a private reading go ahead and email me my information is below thank you